This week I happened upon potential candidates for the 2024 word of the year. One suggestion was the word connection. Now, given that last year's word of the year was Riz and the year before's was Goblin Mode, the definition of which in both cases I had to Google, I doubt that a word as commonplace as connection will make it into the final cut. But it did make me wonder what the word of the year might be for us as the church. And I think connection might not be such a poor choice there. All humans crave connection, we're told. But the level of Christian connection to which we're called is extraordinary because Christ gave us a new commandment to form connection with others in a radical way. He commanded us to love others as he loved his disciples, as he loves us. And if we look at that love, it's not an insipid, weak, half-hearted and vague desire to get along with others and do a little good where we can, but an utterly radical call to love others, all others. Loving one another as Christ commands, and notice this is a commandment, it's not merely a suggestion, requires an understanding that Jesus welcomed, accepted, loved all. Romans, lepers, tax collectors, those who were marginalised on the grounds of gender or ethnicity, even those who denied and betrayed him. This love that we're commanded to show others, we're called to extend even and perhaps especially to those who may not show love to us. And we're also called to show this love to those who are radically different from ourselves racially different, politically different, economically different, theologically different. And we're called to love practically as we celebrate the blessing of mothering and of those who have mothered us today. We recall Jesus's mothering of those around him. He touched people, he fed them, he washed their feet, he practically cared for people. We follow a saviour who spoke of himself using the image of a mother hen gathering her chicks under her wings. That's the sort of connection of love that we're called to live out too. And we're called to love self-sacrificially. Today we have two suggested gospel readings for Mothering Sunday, both focused on Mary, Jesus's mother, and they both speak of the cost of love. The first from Luke has Simeon speaking to Mary as she and Joseph bring the infant Jesus to the temple, and he warns her of the sacrificial cost of loving this child. A sword will pierce your own soul, he tells her. And in the reading from John, Mary is standing with her son as he is crucified. Loving Jesus costs. In following him, we are called to emulate the self-giving of a mother for her children, the self-giving of Mary, the self-giving of the love of Christ that took him to the cross to die for you and for me. Mothering Sunday may be a joyous day for you, or it may be a time of sadness or regret. We have a saviour who walked in our footsteps and understood the complexity of human love and human relationships. I pray today you might recall all the love that you have received and be able to leave at the foot of the cross all that is of hurt and of sorrow. And I pray too that we might find renewed connection as people of faith, privileged to be called the very body of Christ, called to be the family of the church and to be in connection with each other through times of joy, as well as through times of challenge and hardship. I pray we might embrace that connection with compassion, a word which literally means to suffer with. Henri Nouwen writes about walking alongside each other in times of pain, sharing in our confusion and our uncertainty. 
such experiences, he says, can bring us deep joy, not happiness, not excitement, not great satisfaction, but the quiet joy of being there for someone else and living in deep solidarity with our brothers and sisters in this human family. Often this is a solidarity in weakness, in brokenness, in woundedness, but it leads us to the centre of joy, which lies in our sharing our humanity with others. In all that you will share today, in all that is on your heart, I pray that you may know the peace and the blessing of God.